It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Arava Brewing Company and this is a can of their Pike Bite. It's a pale ale coming in at 4.9% ABV. Arava Brewing Company in Finland. And I want to say a massive thank you to Buddy Visor for sending me this beer all the way from Finland. It's pretty terrific to be reviewing these beers. I really like the label. Yeah, it's a pike there about to munch down on a hop <laughs> that's on a hook. 330 milliliter can. Yeah, it just looks pretty decent. Now, Arava's Brewing Company's range is just terrific. They've got some fantastic beers from stouts to Vienna lagers that have got a slight kind of funky farmhouse flavour to them. Uh, we've had all sorts of IPAs, pale ales, lagers, just really good stuff. Kind of sour beers from them. Fruited sours that are really sour. If you're in Finland, around or around the Finland area, or... Indeed, if you're in a in a position to pick these beers up, if you've seen them in your local bottle shop somewhere, living around Europe, then pick them up. They're generally really good beers. So I have a little kind of etched glass here. Uh, it's caused the beer to create this rather large three to four finger white head. <clears throat> And have a look at the last drop of this beer that's going into the glass. Now you can see that haze. Look at the sediment that's in the bottom of this can. But it's important you get all of this sediment in because this is where most of the, of the flavour lies of the beer. This is the kind of the meat and bones of the beer, if you like. That sediment at the bottom, that's holding all sorts of weird and wonderful things from maybe some some micro yeast or some some kind of micro hops or a little bit of malt it's it's all kind of it brings the beer together but look at it now now i've got all of that kind of liquid from the can into the glass look at that liquid didn't it look ter terrific absolutely terrific looking beer and the aroma i'm picking up the aroma from here from like the half arm's length tropical mango pineapple flavors it's amber in colour, nice and hazy. Let's get that aroma then. Oh, that's really tropical. Really tropical. It's got a slight... Tutti fruitiness about it. I remember tutti fruity sweets as a kid. Kind of reminds me of that, like raspberry and strawberry sweets mixed with orange sweets and, and, and lemon sweets. And it's like a kind of a combination of one big flavour. Quite jammy, quite jammy and tart-like. Like your grandma's stirred in kind of jam on a stove. Smells lovely. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Really lovely and tropical. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. It's got a sort of a slightly kind of drying feel into it, a drying sensation on the palate. There's enough carbonation to push the beer on the inside of the mouth for at least more of that flavour. There's passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange notes coming through. This is really terrific. A really terrific beer. Nice and refreshing. <clears throat> but there's a slight creaminess coming on coming through as well from the, the malt that they've used in the beer. I'm going to take a wild stab at the yeast. When I get a beer that kind of dries my palate a little bit like this, I'm going to probably guess at Kvik. I've not looked at the side of the can. Most of it is in the lovely language of, of, of Finnish. Um, but I think I, if I was to guess, it would be like Norwegian Kvik yeast. It's got that sort of kind of drying feel on the palate. Pineapple. 
passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Yeah, a really tidy beer, a really tidy beer. Great lacing on the glass, fantastic lacing, look at that. You see the carbonation rolling back and forth as we rock the glass back and forth. Now, now a rather brewing company, terrific range of beers. I would one day like to sit in the garden with maybe their stout, their black IPA, some of their Lito Lagers, some of their Pale Ale, some of their IPAs, some of their sour beers and just sit there. I'd love to have a session just sitting there sharing them with, with, with Mel or some, maybe some friends. Because some of the sour, sour beers are just tremendous. The fruited sour beers are just absolutely fantastic. They really are. Proper sourness on these fruited beers. But you would start off, you know, you'd start off maybe drinking some of their lagers. And then you would kind of slowly move up the, the, the gauge up until kind of you get to pale ales and IPAs. Then you maybe have a stout, maybe then you have a sour beer. The, what I'm trying to say here is... If you buy beer from a rather brewing company, you can buy so many different styles and you can experience so many different tastes in your beer. It's really good quality stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, for whatever reason, and I've noticed this after drinking beer all around Europe for years and years and years, us Brits, can export our beer everywhere and people will buy it. We can export Cloud Water and Verdant and Beaver Town and all of these other weird and wonderful breweries. People will accept it, people will buy it. But what I found about British culture is that you very rarely, you, you will see McKellar, you will see some, you might see some evil twin some of the Danish breweries, but you might see some Lervig from Norway. You might see some Nergneo from, from Norway, but like Finnish breweries, I'm drinking this beer now from, from this Finnish brewery and it's just tremendous. It's really good. But then again, you're thinking there's some wicked, fantastic Swedish breweries out there. No, Norwegian breweries, Polish, certainly Polish breweries. They haven't been able to like penetrate the UK market. And I find that a bit of a shame. I find that a bit of a shame because the Europeans really know how to brew terrific beer. I know we have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of our own breweries here in the UK. But it would be nice to see a little bit more from... I mean, you get lots of Belgian beer, you get lots of German beer in the UK. But these kind of like quirky breweries, like a rather brewing company, are you likely to ever see a rather brewing company in the UK? In terms of quality, we should be seeing a rather brewing company in the UK, but we just don't. We just don't. And maybe that's because we have so many of our own breweries. But I would like to see, I would definitely like to see more European breweries in the UK. <clears throat> I'm ready to rate this. It's really lovely, it's really tropical, really citrusy, grapefruity, good body, drying feeling from that, maybe that kvig yeast. Um, a pale ale dry hop with Amarillo and Chinook hops, 4.9% ABV. Yeah, they haven't mentioned the, they haven't mentioned the yeast on the can. <clears throat> But if you have a chance to try Pike Bike, give it a go. It's really good. It's a really lovely beer. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.